A class like this is a success when everyone is in tears. This is one of the many crying therapy groups which claim to be flourishing in Tokyo. There are many stressed out businessmen and office women who come here. They can't cry at work and they can't cry at home in front of their wives and children. A few years ago, Hiroki Terai received media attention for performing divorce ceremonies. He says after these ceremonies, men often cried and felt relieved which sparked the idea for his latest workshop. I found out that indeed there was medical evidence that crying relieves stress, and I wanted to share this with people around me, so I started these crying therapy sessions. Terai says classes are packed with about 40 people of various ages. They come, listen to sad stories or watch sad videos, and have a good cry. I feel very refreshed. I'm surprised. Now that I cried, I feel better. Dr. Masakatsu Tanaka is skeptical about the medical benefits of just crying to relieve stress. He says understanding the reason for crying is key. Crying certainly stimulates blood circulation and increases serotonin levels. So there are some changes that happen to our body when we cry. But it doesn't mean that just because this is happening that this is significant. It's all about the reason why we cry, the process that leads us to crying. For now, people seem content in coming to Terai's classes to just let it all out. Terai plans to take his concept outside of Japan later this year. Salim Saeed, Associated Press.